Okay, this is going to be a quick uh, cobbled together video. <laughs> um, most of the people subscribe to me, this isn't going to mean anything to you. I'm doing this one mainly for the, uh, the people over at the Laptop Review Forums. Uh, this is my uh, Panasonic Toughbook uh, CF29. Um, and a little bit of backstory. When I bought this thing, I didn't realize that the uh, the thermal pads on the inside were were something that you needed to keep a hold of. Um, so when I when I took this thing apart to uh, paint it, as you can see, and to uh, you know snoop around on the inside and clean it, um, I, I discarded the pads, and that was a big mistake. Um, since then, I've I've tried you know the different types of grease, uh, Arctic Silver. Uh, the company that makes Arctic Silver have also tried their, their standard grease and of course uh, people with uh, tough books realize that you, you can't really use grease. Um, so anyway this is uh, just just to show what the, uh, the laptop is. Now my camera, let's see, it's not going to let me do it. So let me get zoomed in and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, <clears throat> Okay, with uh, I believe I've just got the standard grease in this machine right now. Um, it's it's odd because if I let the machine cool down overnight and I, I fire it up, it'll run. It'll stay um, at about 40 C for about 20 minutes, and then I guess the grease gets hot and maybe starts to flow a little bit. I don't know. Um, anyway, as you can see here. I've got the processor underclocked to about 600 megahertz, and 73C is is typically what I see um, for a temperature. Um, and of course, it depends on what software you're you're looking at here. Um, I don't know which one is right, but there you can see uh, speed speed switch XP is what I'm using. Um, and it's saying 75C at 600 megahertz. So what I'm going to do now, uh, let's go ahead, I'm going to crank this thing up to max performance and that should step the uh, should step the processor up now and there we go, we've got 1400 megahertz and <clears throat> I'm going to do a, a, a boring shot of the keyboard here as I pull up a, uh, it's probably copyrighted, so just let me, let me play this game here for just a moment and uh, get, some, get some processor usage going and there we go. 93C ouch um, and there it backs down to 86 now the, the the maximum temp spec on the Intel Pentium M I've looked it up it's 100 C it never it never goes past that um, it will automatically switch itself down even when you've got it clocked at full speed so it never goes above 100 C but that's still a little little too hot um, and what I've done, well actually, let me, uh, let me get set up into the next shot and uh, I'll show you guys what I've done. Okay, I'm back. Um, yeah, I have a problem. Um, okay, <clears throat> now, uh, thermal pads. You can order, from what I gather, you can order replacement thermal pads for these things. Uh, they're a little pricey because uh, apparently you're getting something about the size of a half a stick of gum, and I, f I forget how much it was—20, you know, 20 some odd bucks. Um, now, what I have done, I have decided to try something different. Um, wow, that's shiny. Let me get this out of here. <clears throat> I have found another source for thermal pad material 
and this video is not going to do it justice here. This is 1.5 mil thickness, which in my guesstimation should work pretty good for the tough buck. Um, I got this uh, got this material from a, a website called frozencpu.com, I believe. I'll, I'll I'll put a link in the in the description. I'm not affiliated with them. I uh, didn't know anything about them. I, I typically don't like to order stuff from websites I don't know. Um, I ordered this Friday night. It's Monday, and it was waiting for me when I got home. And I just paid for the standard postal shipping. So, pretty nice. Um, <clears throat> anyway, you can see, and and this was with shipping, you know, maybe 22 bucks. But I've got enough material here to do several uh, tough books, or if I need to take this one apart a few more times for some reason, uh, I've got plenty of material to work with here. So, um, anyway, uh, let me grab a screwdriver and get this thing cracked open. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> To any of you guys that have uh, tough books, you you know what we're looking at here. It's the uh, the bottom of the motherboard. The uh, everybody else uh, just play along. Um, as you can see, this is the uh, just the the regular uh, white heatsink grease, and you can see what a mess. Um, and you see how thick. You know, this camera is horrible. I don't know if you're going to be able to make that out. It's it's just a mess. Um, you can tell that it's it's got voids in it. Um, so I'm sure there were hot spots on the uh, on the CPU and the uh, and the GPU. So not good. <clears throat> the uh, the computer's working fine. I haven't had any errors or anything like that. But uh, yeah, it's it's time to try and get the heat under control here. So again, I'm going to jump away and get this cleaned up, and then we'll start the process of making some new heat pads. And be right back. Okay, there we go. Um, <clears throat> got the uh, got all the grease cleaned off of the uh, the CPU and the GPU. Um, had to take the uh, this uh, plastic cover, um, had to remove that and clean around the chip and uh, get it cleaned off of the cover itself. <clears throat> and you know, I've cut, I haven't cut these to perfect size. I don't think there's any way I could get my hands to set them perfectly on top of the chip. So I just cut them a little bit big and uh, I'm going to give that a try. Now, this material. Um, if any of you have ever discarded or played around with that stuff that comes with the, the tough book, you know it's kind of like a clay, is almost what it feels like. It's almost like uh, JB Weld um, that, that hasn't cured, that was what it reminded me of. And this stuff that came, that I ordered from uh, Frozen CPU, it has a clay like, kind of like modeling clay is what it feels like, except it's a little bit, a little bit more rigid. Sorry, I, you know, the focus on this is going to suck. I just wanted to show you there is a, you know, you're not going to see it, there's a plastic backing that protects the smooth side. Um, this stuff's got, <clears throat> has a smooth side that goes down onto the, uh, the chip, the die, and then it's got this uh, this side here that's got uh, some uh, like a pattern. I'm sure that's from the manufacturing process where they're rolling it through a uh, through a roller. So anyway, uh, that's that's what we're going to try here. They they say this stuff is supposed to be pretty good. Um, so I'm going to get this thing buttoned back up and get it fired up, and we'll see what kind of difference it makes. Okay, a little update. <clears throat> Same computer. Um, this is... I've uh, shut the uh, speed switch off, so I've just got it set to a regular 
Windows power profile. Um, I've got a YouTube video playing. It's backgrounded. Um, and there we are, just a little bit before below 40C, 39. So that's a pretty good improvement. And let me go ahead and load the processor up to 100%, and I'll be right back. Okay, I've had the processor loaded for just a couple of minutes here. Um, whenever I background the uh, the game, of course the uh, the process goes down. <clears throat> uh, still running at full clock speed. Uh, haven't broken uh, 40 degrees C. I can feel the the underside of the laptop, which is in my lap right now, getting quite warm. So I'm going to go ahead and play this game, keep the uh, processor pegged for a few minutes, uh, 10 or 15 minutes, and and see see if this climbs up. Okay. Uh, I have managed to, with a 100% uh, load on the CPU, I have meant for probably the last 15 minutes, uh, well, 15 to 20 minutes, I have managed to cook it up to, uh, I saw 80C. Um, so it is an improvement. Um, this, this computer is going to be uh, it's going to be relegated to be used with Linux it's not going to see any real heavy graphics and uh, I've noticed that if if the graphics aren't aren't running at full speed uh, this machine stays down in the 40 range it's only when you really load it up quite a bit and uh, over over a period of time that the uh, the heat sink apparently just can't can't dissipate the heat fast enough and it, it does start to warm up a little bit but uh, this is an improvement uh, I don't feel so bad about putting Linux on it because I with Linux I have no no concept of how to underclock the processor so I know it's going to be running at full speed all the time um, but anyway, that's uh, and I did this pretty crudely. Uh, maybe maybe some of the people who will watch this will know how to better utilize uh, those that heat transfer material, the pads. Uh, anyway, uh, that's what we got. See you in the next one.